I I D A O N M E I I I. What it is in D A O I D dot what do I get in R E C I D M in D A O V what do we need to receive D A O V I. What impact does receiving D A O have on M E D I I. What can attest the validity of DAOI? What is DAO observing the cosmos and all the living beings consciously, among all the earthly activities and phenomena, we will find the existence of the laws of nature. There is a supernatural origin which guides all the operations happening across the galaxy, the earth, and the human beings. We call this source DAO. Thou existed before primordial time, and even before the universe was merged. It is the origin of the world and it thereafter nurtures all the creatures and beings. Since it is unchangeable and does not evolve with time, it is the ultimate truth. It is what all saints and sages throughout human history had been searching for. The essence of Tao is the foundation of nature. The law or the power that existed before the universe was formed is beyond description because there were no civilizations nor creatures, let alone languages. Since it cannot be applied any name, we simply call it Tao. After the world was merged, along with the mutations of the universe, we see the harmonious actions as exhibited in seasonal changes, rhythms of time and tide, and the balance of the ecosystem. We also find some conformity of human nature across various cultures. These prove the laws of nature. This is the extension of that original Tao when it is substantiated and materialized. It merged into everything that is with and within us. Now that we know Tao is present universally and yet difficult to be recognized, there have been prophets and preachers trying to make us know and understand the origin and the truth of life through various teachings and literature since the beginning of civilization. They were scattered around the world throughout history. As a result, great commandments were taught to disciples and goodness and badness were differentiated. These teachings varied, based on differences in culture, background, timing and the level of each individual's comprehension. However, they all tried to express and transmit to their descendants this creator and chief of the universe. It is God, or what we call Tao. As we get to know it more and more, we will realize that the essence of Tao and its effect covers every existence without any exceptions. Tao is actually the headwaters of all religions. It embraces the essence of all the preaching and teachings. And yet, it is superior to the system of belief. It is the nature, the universe itself. Thou or God represents the highest authority and power of nature. It is also the headstream and superior to all. It is the unchangeable principle. Understanding Thou allow us not only to discover the center of all religious belief, but also to communicate with the origin and the highest power of nature. We will then be able to relate ourselves to the truth of the universe. To probe further, Thou existed before the formation of all, 
yet it was not anterior, which means that the creation was embedded in it. Tao emerges into the creation, yet is not posterior, which means that it is not thereafter limited. Among those created, however large, they can be measured, however small, they can be detected. It is only Tao that cannot be measured of its immensity nor detected of its existence. Therefore, it is larger than the largest and leaves nothing excluded, and yet it can be smaller than the smallest and leaves nothing.